I think maybe Kira's right. I need to decide if this relationship is something I want or not. I can't string them along forever. And what's your fiance like? Is he a good-looking guy? Looks aren't everything. Yeah, so I got nothing to worry about. <sighs> hmm. It's a little on the dorky side, don't you think? If you mean ruggedly sexy, then yeah, sure. What about there? Uh, so far, they all just cut out or start shaking like crazy as soon as the shooting starts. You seem to be taking on a lot lately. No, I'm good. Back to your love life. What's a uh, ruggedly dorky guy's name again? Chuck? Ty. I would never date a guy named Chuck. Ty, huh? What happened to that girl Kira, man? A few weeks ago, she's all you could talk about. Actually, Ty is Kira's fiance. They want me to be the third in a polyamorous relationship. Whoa, wait, wait, what? Like. Like a sister wife's not allowed to cut your hair kind of no, thing? No, this isn't a guy looking for a fantasy. I would be in a relationship with the both of them equally. It's complicated. So uh, back to our case. <clears throat> the uh, dealer says that the shooter was snooping around Tiffany's bedroom. So it's looking more and more like he was after Tiffany and not the drugs. Just heard back from Tan, airport pickup went smoothly, and uh, they're back at the condo now. Wait, she's got a condo and a house? I get shot at once a week. I'm surfing couch to couch. Are we ever going to talk to Tiffany, see what she knows? Yeah, that's the plan. Street, you keep searching these videos. And Honda wants everyone else with him. You know, if this is about Tiffany, a couple of us are going to have to stay on her. Not it. Luca. Sir. I need a word. What's up? That kid you hit in Black Betty says he's going to sue. So we get sued all the time. Well, it's just another loser trying to win the LAPD lottery. Yeah, well, until we settle this to the chief's satisfaction, your official driving privileges are suspended. Are you kidding me? I wish I was. Look, I apologize for the outburst, sir, but th I've never heard of this happening short of a DUI. I think the word you're looking for, Luca, is unprecedented. Well, it's not about the lawsuit. This kid you hit, he's apparently dating the mayor's daughter. So this is coming from the mayor's office? It's coming from the chief. Who's looking to score points with the mayor, it sounds like. Well, look, I'm sorry, Luca. With these budget cuts breathing down my neck, I can't push back as hard as I normally would. But you got my word. I'm going to expedite this personally. It could be weeks, months, driving shotgun. It could just be hours, Luca. Right, we got a job to do, I know. All right, Chris, you got the wheel. It just sounds wrong. Here. I haven't been in a vehicle I wasn't driving and I can't even remember how long. Yeah, it was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. It was scary for me too. I wasn't there, but what if I had been? But in a weird way, this brings us closer as sisters. Ugh. Don't worry, we'll just edit it out. We should reshoot it. Both of you are so low energy. Well, I've had a tough morning. It's Tristan. He must have heard. It's been nonstop since we got it from the airport. <laughs> Babe! Oh, Lord. I just woke up. And I was the first person you call. Don't be jealous because it won't do you any good. Can she do that later? Probably. Tristan's got a pretty tight schedule, though. Tight schedule? Didn't she just say he's her boyfriend? Oh, they're not actually dating. It's just for the videos. They're cross-pollinating each other's followers. Isn't Tristan the vlogger who does, uh, what is it? The Daily Goof. Yeah, he plays these elaborate pranks on his friends. <clears throat> Uh-oh, no fun Sarah says I have to wrap it up. Guess something's never changed. But I promise Hey, Tristan, I hear you like pranks. <sighs> yeah? Well, here's one for you. Excuse me. Tiffany, my name is Sergeant Harrells. I want to ask you some questions about one of the guys who shot up your place this morning. I thought it was for sure about drugs. It might be, but the shooter who got away may have been targeting you. So we might have to put you in protective custody. Oh, God, that sounds restrictive. So, you're saying I'm in danger? Hey, hey, how about we turn that thing off? Oh, we're not live streaming. We'll edit it into the video I just did. But don't worry, we'll make you guys look so badass. JD's a wizard. I saw that look in your face earlier. About the Ty and Kira thing. What kind of look? Let's just say I, I got a sneak peek at how my aunts and uncles are gonna react. <laughs> Come on, I'm not that old. But you disapprove, right? You think it's 
immoral or something. It's your business. It's not mine. Come on, just give me a real answer. You know me, I can take it. Probably think I'm gonna do whatever I want. And you're right. That doesn't mean I don't respect your opinion. You wanna know if I disapprove? If your daughter brought home a couple, how would you feel about that? Honestly, I'd be worried for her. That couple is in a relationship that predates you. They're getting married, and you're not part of that marriage. No matter how they try to sell it to you. I think you're setting yourself up for heartache. Feet to your two o'clock. Stay casual, he's watching. Fits the captain's description of the shooter. Honda, we got a guy across the street that looks like our shooter. Roger that, Deke. Look, everybody get on the ground. Stay away from the window, all right? What's going on? What's happening? God's sake, Tiff, just get down. I can go around the building, make the block, and get behind him. No, seeing you leave might spook him, Chris. Tan, get Eunice to surround the block. Luca, hey, I said turn that thing off. He's on the move. He's on the run. We're in pursuit. I'm with you, Dick. I got the door. He's got a gun. LAPD, come out of the house. You see a guy with a gun run through here? All right, go back inside. Stay away from the doors and the windows. Honda, check it out. He must have dropped it on the way over. It's a 45, just like the shooter this morning. Coming after twice in three hours. He's motivated. More like obsessed. He's not going to stop until we stop him. Guys, if the worst happens, I don't want to say it even. But I want you to know it was Those worth it. Was your feet or Lucas? For all of you. you kidding? Lucas' feet would take up the whole frame. <sighs> I think I just got dumber. I can't believe this is the world my kids are growing up in. I told him to turn that damn camera off. Videos like that will probably encourage this guy. All right, so who's babysitting our little princess? Not it. Hey, I had her all morning. <laughs> hey. What's up, man? You want to talk about it? You're starting to sound like Dr. Wendy. What, are you afraid they're going to say that accident was your fault? No, it's not that exactly. It's just, look, driving has been such a big part of my life since before SWAT even. I mean, until today, I never even hit a squirrel. I had a perfect driving record. Luca, you can't be perfect all the time. Yeah, but we're SWAT. Perfect's part of our job description. <laughs> Come on, man. It's the part that none of us live up to. You know, the best way to get your mind off your own problems is to listen to someone else's. You got something going on? Not me. Street. He's been doing way too much lately. But he ain't gonna want to hear that from me. Me and Chris are pretty tight. Luca. We've all seen the shade you've been throwing his way. You lived with the kid for months, man. And he needs his boy back. Amy, your mom texted. They're taking an early flight back. Yeah, I know. This is Dr. Wendy Hughes. She's a psychologist. Hi, Amy. After what happened this morning, I thought it might be good for the two of you to talk. Something wrong with the sandwich? I'm not hungry. You haven't eaten all day. You think Tiffany will be OK? I think I you... bet she's plenty safe with SWAT protecting her. They're amazing. That's right. She'll be fine. 